بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از فنیندہ چنا لیکچرر زولوجی فرام گورنمنٹ گرلز ڈگری کالج مورو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈلیور لیکچر اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن آف کنگڈم اینی میلیا فرام فسٹ ایئر کلاس دا کنگڈم اینی میلیا اینیملس آر یو کیریوٹک اٹ مینس اینیمل کنسسٹ آف یو کیریوٹک سیل دوز سیل وچ ہیو نیوکلیس وتھ اے نیوکلیر ممبرین دیٹ از نون ایز یو کیریوٹک سیل multi cellular it means those animals which consist of more than many cells is known as multi cellular and heterotrophic it means those which are depend on the for the food purpose that is known as heterotrophic in nature there are about 1.3 million species of animals about 75 percentage of total known species of living organism a smallest animal that is microscopic and that is belongs to protozoan phylum that is name is Trichoplex protozoa. The largest animal is whale and that is belongs to Animalia kingdom. Animals are different from one another on the basis of size, appearance, habitat, no organ to specialized organ system. Multicellular animals have arising from the protista at, le- at least three phyla. They are arising from protista the sponges phylum porifera cnidarians phylum cnidaria or salentrata flatworms phylum platyelmeter halmanthus the all are the origin from protozoa development pattern in animals a animal start its life as a zygote which is diploid cell form a result of fertilization Uh, here in this figure shows the fusion of egg female reproductive cell and sperm male reproductive cell they are fused together is known as fertilization the result becomes zygote this is a structure here this one is sperm and ova they are fused together to form a zygote okay this one is egg or female reproductive cell and this one is a sperm male reproductive cell they are fused together to form a zygote and zygote is simply said fertilized egg in a three word definition of zygote is fertilized egg that is known as zygote first cell of sexually reproducing organism and that is diploid in nature cleavage sequence of mitotic division that is known as cleavage in this structure here the cleavage is showing at cell stage that is formed in here what is cleavage cleavage is division of fertilized egg that is known as cleavage okay that is fertilized egg they are divided mitotically that is known as cleavage afterwards stage is known as marula multicellular structure with solid ball of cell that is known as marula blastula multicellular structure with hollow ball of cell that is known as blastula here is the blastula cross section is showing gastrula inward inclination of blastula it has a hollow sac having opening called blastopore it has no intron movement of cell produce a hollow digestive system called as intron if open at one end only gut digestive system have two opening cellular organization cell join together to form a tissue and tissue group of tissue form together they form a organ group of organs change into be organ system they are the cellular organization now the parazoa and eumetazoa kingdom animalia divided in two part parazoa and eumetazoa parazoa those members of animalia they lay a proper tissue organization like porifera that is parazoa you metazoa are those which have a true organization of tissues and organs in a lower groups and organs into organ system in higher form that is known as you metazoa like um, cnidarian to cordage some important terms germ layers tissue layer are the masses of cell from which organ system of animals develop three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm endoderm 
ecto means outer derm means layer or skin it is the outer layer of the animal that is known as ectoderm mesoderm meso means middle derm means skin or layer it is a middle layer of any organism or animal endo means in derm means layer it is the innermost layer of the body of any animal that is known as endoderm in this structure ectoderm and endoderm is showing this is outer layer of the body of blastopore or any animal that is known as ectoderm and this one is inner layer of the body that is known as endoderm and that region is known as blastopore now other terms sessile those organisms or animals which cannot able to move that is known as sessile sedentary those organisms which are fixed with substratum or any fixed material or object that is known as sedentary which phyla is the sessile most of the cnidarians are sessile like polyps poriferans are sessile which one is a sedentary give any example of phyla that is a poriferans are sedentary they are fixed with some solid support diploblastic di means two blast means layer it means those which have a two body layers are germinal layer of body that is known as diploblastic organism develop from two germinal layers that is known as diploblastic animals such as ectoderm and endoderm their example is cnidarians poriferans haven't tissue organization triploblastic tri means three blast means layer it means those animals or organisms they have a three body layer they develop three germ layers of the body that is known as triploblastic and which layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm except cnidarians all phyla have a three uh, layers of the body it means all phyla are triploblastic except cnidarians and poriferans let's move to the symmetry or symmetry symmetry word it is meaning is that dimension or arrangement of the body now what is symmetry overall body shaped is known as symmetry symmetrical or animals can be divided along at least one plane into two identical half two types of symmetry bilateral symmetrical and radial symmetrical body divided into two equal half by passing through longitudinal axis cutting through the midline that is known as bilateral symmetrical here is showing this figure also radial symmetrical organisms with radial symmetry having one main axis around which body parts are arranged organism can be divided into identical halves by any plane that passes through main axis in short bilateral or those which are body divided into equal half without any axis that is known as bilateral symmetrical organism from phylum platyhelminthes to chordates all are the bilateral symmetrical animals radial symmetry it means those type of symmetry in which body divide into two equal half with the help of main axis and that is known as radial symmetrical and example is cnidarians phylum coelom what is coelom the internal body cavity of animal is known as coelom on the basis of coelom bilateral symmetrical animals are divided into two three categories a coelomate coelomate pseudocoelomate what do you mean by a coelomate i uh, means not without a coelomata or those animals which do not have any body cavity that is known as a coelomate the example is cnidarians coelomate there other example is platyhelminthes now the coelomate meta these contain a true body cavity that is known as coelomate here is the body cavity is present in this structure that is known as example of coelomata okay which phylum is the coelomata from phyla any phylum any lida to chordata all ka, all phyla are coelomata it means they have a true body cavity now the pseudocoelomata these animals contain a primitive body cavity but do not have a true body cavity they have a false body cavity that is known as pseudocoelomate in this structure these are the pseudocoelomate are showing here example of pseudocoelomate phylum is nematoda fate of blastopore what do you mean by 
fetoblastopore opening which develop into embryos at the gastrular stage that is known as blastopore this opening eventually form either mouth or anus of animal that is known as fetoblastopore now the how many types of blastopores fate two protostomes and a deuterostomata animals pro means first stoma means mouth here the word mistaken soma not soma but it is a stoma stoma means mouth soma means body okay in these animals the blastopore is a change into mouth that is known as protostome here in this figure also showing the protostomes how they are formed this is stage of cleavage stage at cell stage two layer of cells are offset formation here now in this structure this one is a blastopore this one is a coelom of the body okay in this now this one is a digestive tract and the mouth is a first developed from a blastopore opening at this known as what protostome it means the first opening that is the mouth is formed in it therefore these are the protostome they are giving examples phylum annelids mollusicans arthropods these are the protostomes now the deuterostomata deuto means second stoma means mouth in these animals the blastopores change into anus first then mouth is formed from the blastopore that is known as what deuterostoma the example is a cynodermates how they are formed this one is a zygote and this one is a blastopore this invaginate into endoderm then changes takes place the all the germ layers are formed in it then this blastopore eventually change firstly anus then the mouth is formed showing this figure that is known as deuterostome their examples of the phyla are echinodermates and chordates animals classification it means kingdom animalia is a divided into 33 groups that is known as phyla out of which nine are major and stand in first year class each of phyla contain specific number of species and they have a peculiar characteristics of each phyla here in this figure showing the ninth phyla mentioned porifera and their example showing in this figure facon nidaria jellyfish is present platyal methes flat worm nematodes scries mollusicans snail annelids earthworm arthropods beetle echinodermate starfish and from chordates if there are any birds are showing in this figure it means the uh, these are the nine major phyla which are will become soon steady in this chapter of kingdom animalia i hope you understand very well today's lecture about introduction of kingdom animalia dear students please share your feedback or comments thanks to all